There's nothing more valuable than life in this universe. Sandrock has taught me that. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for Chronicles in Collecting, where I'm going to take a look at the Robot Spirits XXXG01SR2 Gundam Sandrock Custom and the XXXG01SR Gundam Sandrock Option Part Set from New Mobile Report Gundam Wing. This figure came out in November 2012, retailing for 3,990 yen, or about $50 US at the time. The options part set came out in July 2013 and retailed for 2,310 yen, or about $23 US at the time. So Bandai has another line of Gundam figures called Gundam Universe. They're sort of lower priced. I think it's kind of a little bit more intended for the US market. Um, you know, they're probably about $20 to $25 for a figure. They've been doing Gundam Wing lately and those figures have actually been pretty good. I don't collect them, but I know that S3D has been doing a lot of reviews and he's a really big fan of specifically the Gundam Wing ones. Some of the earlier Universal Century ones weren't as good. But anyway, suffice to say is that I think that that's kind of been, you know, driving the price down on these older Gundam Wing robot spirits. I'm assuming people are probably, you know, replacing uh, these older figures that are, you know, quite a few years old now, um, you know, with kind of the newer, flashier ones that, you know, you could probably dump one of these sand rocks and buy, you know, two or three Gundam Universe figures with the, you know, with the same money. I don't really want to get into another line. The Gundam Universe line is is really cool, um, you know, but they tend to do mostly just kind of the main suits, not as much as the obscure stuff. Um, and they're a little bit taller than the um, robot spirits, so I feel like they just wouldn't quite fit um, on my shelf. Anyway, I guess that just means for me is that I get a bunch of uh, cheaper robot spirits to uh, open up. So we've already looked at Tall Geese, Tall Geese 1, and uh, Death Scythe. Take a look at these uh, different accessories here. I, I love the colors on this. Um, you kind of see the three different colors there. Really nice uh, color separation. That's awesome. Um, you know, Bandai has recently kind of started revisiting Gundam Wing. They've done Metal Robot Spirits of the Wing Zero, as well as the Epion. I'm assuming that they're going to be doing a lot more of the at least, uh, you know, season two suits. Um, and obviously this Sandrock is the Sandrock Custom. I've never, I've always heard it referred to as Sandrock Kai. The Custom usually was the one from um, Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. But they do sell this sort of handy dandy option part set, which actually can bring it back to the uh, version one Kai. You know, there's really just, I'm sorry, the version one Sandrock, there's really not that much difference between the two. So rather than make kind of like a whole other figure, they just uh, kind of released a few extra pieces there. I think there's like an extra skirt. It's basically just some extra skirt parts and um, slightly different you know, bolt, uh, weapons. And you could tell that there are so few differences that Bandai didn't even make a separate option part set. They actually combined it with the heavy arms. I'm just gonna take a look at the Sandrock pieces for now just for the sake of this video. Hopefully at one point I'll be able to pick up one of the uh, heavy arms and then we'll do that. Just a quick comparison between these two. Um, so you can see that the one from the option part set is a little bit longer, um, but otherwise the coloring and the handle and the design is the same. It kind of just looks like the same piece just sort of scaled up a little bit. But I do kind of like the the red ones that are, you know, kind of, uh, you know, overheating or, or whatever from that came with the uh, quote unquote custom version. See a comparison there. These are actually, I think these might actually be the same exact piece. Yeah, these look like the same piece, just different color. So probably not worth getting this if you just want the slightly bigger, um, you know, blades. I'll put this to the side here. So yeah, there's a lot of, there's a bunch of other like little bits and bops over there. Um, like I said, I think the biggest difference here is the uh, is the skirt. So you try to do a quick comparison here. So you can see a very, 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 very minor difference. Um, you know, just doesn't have the, the red there. And then I guess these are the, uh, I guess probably the, other big one here, the shoulder joints. So rather than have these kind of like cool 
I think probably fairly iconic shoulder joints that people associate with the sand rock. You just have this like very um, basic one. So, uh, you know, pretty, pretty minor stuff here, but I'll probably, uh, as I pose this, I'll probably convert it into the version one, um, just so that it kind of fits better with the way that I'm gonna be displaying my stuff. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes um, with some final thoughts. And we are back. So let's get this guy on the rotating stand here. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I really like this figure. I mean, I've really enjoyed the Robot Spirits Gundam Wing stuff. Like I said, I know there's the Gundam Universe and those are newer and flashier, um, but I really like these and the fact that the prices have been coming down a little bit. Um, I've been into because I've been able to get, you know, these figures a little bit um, cheaper. Uh, you know, as far as the option part set, there's really not a lot there. I'll try to point out a few of the different, a few of the, the minor things that you could do to basically turn this uh, Kai or custom, whatever you want to call it, into the regular one. So you basically take off a few pieces of the backpack, which are, you know, for space usage or whatever, or some sort of space thing. Um, you could take a look right here at this like shoulder. So there's this shoulder blade is what it ships with. And you can see there's a few like boosters there and this one doesn't have the booster. And then at the very edge here on the bottom uh, or on the back of the leg, again, there is like a booster that it comes with and there's another part there that's like not a booster. So pretty minor. I think that whoever uh, went and made these parts must have really, really loved the sand rock. You know, the option part sets aren't, you know, that expensive. I think it's like 20, I, I think I picked mine up for about 20 bucks. Um, and I think there are more substantial parts for the heavy arms. Um, but I would say that if you're getting, I wouldn't get it just for the for the sand rock unless like you're really, really, really a perfectionist at that and like having those, you know, boosters in the shoulder blades like really bother you. Um, but yeah, I think the detailing is really nice. The coloring is nice. I like the posability, adjust that right there. One like very, very, very minor complaint that I have, um, I forgot what other figure it was. Yeah, had this, maybe it was one of the tall geeses or something, but there's no um, hole for the peg in the bottom of the figure. So you have to use an adapter that's on the backpack, which is not the end of the world. Um, but I just always feel like those don't work as well. But um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this pose and I'm very, very happy with this figure. And I'm hoping to uh, soon build the entire boy band of, of the Gundam Wing figures. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like or subscribe. Um, and if you didn't, tell me about it in the comments. If there's something else you want to see, either with this figure or something else, a comparison, whatever, tell me about it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Um, I'm going to be doing new figure reviews on Fridays and I'm doing anime reviews on Monday. Right now I'm reviewing a MAME Warrior at the Borderline, so check those out. And then a few Wednesdays a month, maybe two or three, I'm going to do kind of a more retro figure or something, you know, older than say the last six months or so, such as this Sandrock for instance. Anyway, thanks so much and keep collecting.